Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4, Episode 12. Uh, in the last episode, very, very interesting episode. Um, it's the last two episodes have been really freaking good. Um, firstly, I would just like to clarify. Thank you, thank you guys very much for being uh, chill with me for the fact that uh, I had no clue that, that was Pandora's actor. Obviously, I'm an anime-only fan of Overlord. Um, but now that everybody's kind of pointed out all the reasons how you could tell it was Pandora's actor. Yeah. That's my bad. Um, but hopefully going forward, I'll be able to figure it out the numerous times I've been duped by it before. I'm sure thousands of other anime-only fans were duped by it as well. Um, yeah, in regards to Pandora's actor, I mentioned the episode, I think, uh, to which um, he was meant to be super strong. Or was it in the last episode before that? I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, and you guys were mentioning that uh, he is... He has the ability to copy anybody's abilities, uh, including Ayn's, uh, up to 80% of their power, which is nuts. That's super freaking strong. Um, so yeah, ever all these kind of main guys within Nazarick are crazy strong. Um, and as well, the, in the episode, we had uh, obviously the Red Gundam, White Knight Gundam. Um, White Knight Gundam turned out to be El Dragon, uh, which uh, was actually seen first back in Season 2, Episode 1, which someone pointed out and I went back and watched. Um, it would seem it was also there was also kind of a flashback there to show that he was he fought Shaltier. Um So yeah, no excuse for that. It was just a really long time ago. I forgot. I apologize. Um, that's going to continue going forward with me just forgetting shit. But you guys are there to re help me remember, and I always appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm very excited for these last two episodes. And I believe this isn't. Let me just confirm. Uh, Overlord. Blah, blah, blah. E oh, where are we? Yes, last two episodes. So this is the semi-season finale. Uh, and then we got the season finale next week. Very hyped. And um, yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> Albedo's pissed at Pandora's actor. And yet he did it in public. Yikes. Damn, that's something even Ainz would do. I like that. Monarchs and kingdoms are always like, a king should never get on their knees. Ainz is like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I like when he says, oh, and his face is just... <laughs> is that just his face or is that a mask that uh, Pandora's actor is wearing? Presumably because he can turn it to other people, it's, I guess, a mask or it's, that's his actual face. I don't know. Oh, is he um, he's pointing to the red orb in his uh, chest? Yeah, you guys mentioned about that as well. Yeah, way different. He's a player. Damn. So you may be next to unkillable, but if you do die... Okay, are we going to cut to the uh, bloodbath? Let's have a look. Certain standards about acting as a villain. I love that. Brain on glass. They'll all be dead. Or are they going to be taken over? I don't think... Oh no, yeah, he did say he was going to wipe everyone out. Bruh, look at this boy pouring tea. <laughs> yeah, this tea slaps, clearly. Is there a specific reason they want to stay, or do they just really like the tea? Bro, I don't know what the fuck's happening. They don't want to be in the room? What? Ah. Okay, well, she needed that explaining to her. So, that's fine that I needed that explaining to me. <laughs> Oh, all the, uh, the kingdom staff. Here, fiendish boss. What has she done to the tea? What the fuck? What? 
Wait, is this not the boss? Wait, I'm confused. Is she the one in the imposter or are they imposters? What's happening? Bro, I'm fucking confused. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, so you just stabbed your boss several times? Okay, no imposters, I guess. They just jump their own boss, but sure. Yeah, she's waiting for Sorcerer Kingdom to pull through. She can join them. Oh, so that's why they had Brain leave the room. Yeah, don't ask questions, bro. Yeah, you gotta stay, bro. Ayn's gotta fight you with that sword. Oh? With your own sword? Not the, the good sword? See, Ayn's is gonna destroy this guy, but he's gonna respect him. Bro, imagine he's going to go to Ainz and everybody's going to be there. Sabas is going to be there. Oof. So I guess he, he is inheriting the sword now. I wonder if there'd be like a time skip or something. I feel like that'd be cool. What the hell is she going to do? Is she going to stab him? Yeah, are you sure about that? Is she going to take that to her father, or is she going to take it to Ainz? Oh shit, here comes Kokoitis. Her looks like a transformer. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't bother. Yeah, d dude, don't bother, just save your life. Oh. For a second there, I thought he was going to let the gods live. Nope. Okay, she's going to let the gods live. Bro, Dino knocked him out of his voice. <laughs> Why is the dinosaur quite cute? Oh, Brain's just waiting for Irons to pull up. Oh, bro, he might not even make it to Irons. Sorry, unless Ainz actually shows up now, I'm 100% sure he's not going to make it to Ainz, I should say. I mean, it'd probably be easy for them even if it was fully guarded. Yeah? Okay. I'd like if he landed a decent attack on Kokutus, at least. Are we going to see this? Or is it going to be a cliffhanger? Holy shit. Oh, he is going in. Oh, dude. Fuck. He didn't even hit him. Bro, I'm surprised he only sliced his chest. I thought he'd like slice him in half. Yeah, he's got to slay him. So he's not killing him? Or maybe that will kill him, but they'll resurrect? I don't know. Interesting. I like how passively everywhere he goes just freezes. This is probably killing all the people in the houses. Why did he just circle around that building? What the hell? So correct me if I'm wrong, but from that bit at the end there... What, from what I could tell, he circled around the building because he didn't want to pass Brain, freezing him more, because the, the part around Brain was still unfrozen. Is that correct? Or am I on the right track there? Um, yeah, I, uh, I I think the one thing I like about, maybe it's just, maybe it's just Kokuitis, um and Ainz, because uh, Kokuitis seems to be, he mentioned one of the, presumably one of the players, how he was like kind of a, a lead warrior. 
Um, so I think maybe that's where he's kind of got that personality from, whereas the others are just like, kill. I don't mind killing, just bleh, kill. I don't need to kill as a warrior. Um, but Ainz is like that too. Uh, Ainz respects uh, someone like that. Um, and I really like that. I really like it. Even if he has to be the big bad villain of the series, at least make him, you know, he has that level of respect for people like the king and the prince and, um, you know, everyone else. So, yeah. He doesn't like cowards. That's why he killed all the nobles. Really good episode. Um, it sucks. Brain... I don't know, he preserved his body in ice, but then he left them there? I thought he was going to take him with or something. I don't know, but yeah, the, Dai is a warrior, he was saying, so he's probably killed him and preserved his body to be buried or something like that. I don't know. Overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the finale. Um, I was thinking as well, the um, he's kind of frozen everybody in their homes, presumably killing them by doing that. Uh, but I think that's quite... <sighs> as for what they could be doing that's probably quite nice way to die just slowly just basically falling asleep presumably um yeah that's that's an interesting thing with that as well i don't know maybe i'm looking too much into that but yeah overall very good episode definitely looking forward to the next anyway guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction have an interesting day and peace out